Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's 5 minute guide, we will be focusing on Edoroboros, a toxic mental temptum that is very versatile when it comes to playing in competitive. It can play a lot of roles in uh, competitive. It can be a good damage dealer. It has a nice coverage of attacks, which is mental, toxic, and melee that can be turned into a win condition if the matchups are really favorable. It can also be used as a tank wall due to the high special defense attack that it has. If you think you're gonna face a lot of physical attackers, then you can just put a strange vest and convert the high special defense into physical defense. So Adoroboros has a lot of ways that you can play it with. Both of the traits are absolutely beautiful as well. For example, Synergy Master is something you would like to use when you want to play Adoroboros really aggressive. And Toxic Skin is the trait that you would like to use when you want to play a bit more passive and a bit more tanky because every time you get attacked, uh, they get two poison ticks which is almost 25% of pure damage regardless of their health. So there are a lot of ways to play Doroboros but for a new player I would recommend Synergy Master uh, would be my go-to suggestion if you would like but Toxic Skin is not bad if you're playing a tanky team. With that being said, let's jump into the moves, items, and gear for Adoroboros. So here we are on the move page, and the moves I would recommend would be Beta Burst, E-Manipulation, Psychic Collaborator, and Toxic Cake, with the trait being Synergy Master. So if you have the Synergy Master trait, this is the move set I would usually go with. If you're buying the new Adoroboros right now, then I would recommend Viral and Gust over Toxic Ink probably. But <clears throat> in general, Adoroboros has a great variety of moves that allows it to be played as either a semi-support or a full attacker kind of thing. But you need to be very careful when you're using the moves. Coming to items, I would definitely recommend having Rock Shield if you want to play a bit more, you know, <clears throat> survive some crystal attacks. Handcuffs is really good for using with E-Manipulation. It will basically trap your opponents in. Another item that's really good, as I said earlier, would be Strange West. Uh, if you're planning to play Toxic Skin, Edoroboros, you have to use Strange West if you want to play against a lot of physical attackers. If you think you will face a lot of special attackers, then just go for the other items. Other than that, the last item I would recommend would be a coat. A coat is a really good item for Adoroboros as well because it saves you from those wind special attacks but it is still very frail when it comes to that so be careful of that. With that being said, let's jump into the TV spreads. But before we jump on the other screen, just on this screen I have a, a template of my pre Siva kind of spread that you can still use if you want for toxic skin. But if it comes to Synergy Master, let's jump into the other window. So here we go. And here we are. Our training values for Adoroboros for a Synergy Master. I would recommend you go for 497 HP, 498 Special Attack, 1 Defense and 1 Special Defense. And the item I would recommend would either be a Coat or a Rock Shield. And if you're facing a lot of physical attackers, then maybe Strain Rest. Coming to allies and synergies i would absolutely recommend having <laughs> kino in the same team as a Doroboros just because of the psychic collaborator synergy master the whole damage thing is so good it is just too good to deny to be honest also a Doroboros loves to have ragnet as a teammate because of the electric custodian it takes all the electric attacks away from a Doroboros, gives him a lot of time to breathe in the field as for the threats, you need to be absolutely careful of Banshee and Gialis. They can even one-shot an Adoroboros if that is not being, um, you know, if, if we don't have the correct HP at the correct time, it can sometimes even one-shot. So be careful with those because Adoro cannot really damage those pretty nicely and they counter it pretty well. So be aware of that. But that would be it guys, if you want to know more about Kino or any other time that we have in the playlist, link will be in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below or just DM me or join the Discord. I'll drop links to all of them below as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video guys. Hope you have a good one and stay safe.